Welcome to our electrical engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see a problem on Thevenin's theorem. To get the notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. There you will find notes, MCQs and much more. The website link is in the video description. Question: Develop Thevenin's equivalent circuit across A and B in the network shown in figure. Here for this circuit, we have to determine its Thevenin equivalent circuit between terminal A and B. Solution First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, we, we will find RTH. So, step number one is to, to find RTH. Now, to find RTH, we have to remove RL. To find RTH, remove RL and turn off turn off all independent sources. All independent sources. Now here we can see the RL is already absent. So this will be our RL. Now here it is already absent and this is the independent voltage source. So let's take this circuit again. Now here this will be our RTH between terminal A and between terminal D. And when we turn off this independent voltage source, that time it will be replaced by short circuit. Now we can easily find the value of RTH. So here RTH is equal to, we will start from here. So, as we can see, this 5, 5 ohm is connected in series. So, 5 plus. Now, here we can see this 2 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series. So, this will be 6 ohm directly. Here we can write this will be 6 ohm. Now, this 6 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel. So, it will be 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3. Now, they are in series with this 6 ohm. So, plus 6. Now, if we calculate this in calculator, it will be 5 plus 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3 then plus 6. It is equal to 13 ohm. 13 ohm is the value of RTH. That is Thevenin's resistance. It is 13 ohm. Now, next step is to find the value of VTH. So, step number two, to find VTH. What we have to do again? We have to remove RL and turn off. We have to remove RL and find VOC. We have to find open circuit voltage VOC. Now VOC will be equal to VTH. So here for this circuit, this will be our VTH. This is plus and this is minus. Now we can easily find the value of VTH. This voltage, the voltage across this 3 ohm will be our VTH simply. So here we can write this will be our VTH. So, we can use here voltage division rule. So, by using by using voltage division rule, we can find the value of VTH. So, VTH is equal to this voltage which is 20 multiplied with 3 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 4. Now, if we calculate this in calculator, it will be 20 multiplied with 3 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 4. And it is 20 divided by 3. 20 divided by 3 volt. So, here we can write VTH is equal to 20 by 3 or we can say it is 6.66. 6.667 volt. 
this is the value for VTH. Now we got the value of VTH, we also got the value of RTH, so we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit. Now here let's say this is our VTH. This is VTH, this is plus, this is minus and VTH is equal to 6.66 volt, 6.667, 6.667 volt is the VTH and this is our RTH. And this will be our load resistor RL. So this is load resistor RL. We don't know the value of RL because RL is absent. This is terminal A and this is terminal B. Here we can see terminal A and B. Now what is the value of RTH? RTH is equal to 13. So 13 ohm. Now we can write this as this is Thevenin's equivalent Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So this is what we have to find in this problem. Develop Thevenin's equivalent circuit across A and B in the network shown in figure. So this is our final answer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also for electrical and electronics engineering related questions, answers and notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. There you will find notes, simulators, calculators and many other educational things related to electrical engineering. The website link is in the video description. Also, you will get the website link in the bio of this channel. And thanks for watching.